Hey guys, so this is my uh, pond setup thing that I put together, and it uh, worked out pretty good. I started out with this cinder block pond. You may have seen the build on it, but I basically just stacked a bunch of cinder blocks and uh, just dry stacked them, covered them, put a liner in, and just let it go. This uh, these are just bricks that I actually just painted over with some cheap spray paint that I had, but I'm probably going to paint them a different color or use something else since it's already coming off. Um, but yeah, so this is how it's set up. This pond is probably about 250 gallons based on the inside dimensions. And, uh, and then I've got some IBC totes out here. And I just basically just cut those in half. They're, they're the 250 gallon ones. Cut them in half, flip them over, and um, clean them out real good, obviously. Um, so this is how it works. There is a, that's a deep blue Triton 5 pump. I think it's 1,350 gallons per hour. It's actually an aquarium pump, but I figured I'd use it for this because I did this whole thing on a tight budget, trying to make it cheap and effective, and so far it's been pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's, that's piped in with one inch PVC, and then it comes over here and actually goes in. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a, there's a UV sterilizer right there. That's actually one of the cheap Odyssey 18 watt UV sterilizers, which seems to be working pretty good so far, obviously, if you can't tell how clear it is. So I've got like sword plants down in there. So, so far it's okay, but it's only been up for a few weeks. So, and this filter is a little bit more complicated, but it is still a very basic design. It's a uh, upflow sand filter, gravel and sand filter. And basically what it what it does is the input is right here and this goes down to the bottom and then it's got the skippy style um, input that has it to where it just kind of uh, splits off and it has two pipes and one going in each direction one's pointing that way one's pointing this way and what it does is creates a circular flow and what that does is it acts as sort of like a solids filter to where all the really solid heavy stuff will sink to the bottom and that's what this down here is for. So I've got a drain right here, and this just this drains off of the bottom of the tank. This is a modification of the the uh, standard one that you see. What this is is that actually it's not because like with the with the basic sand filters, you always see them piped through the bottom, and I really didn't want to do that. Um, I just figured I would utilize what I had already on hand, so I just put a uniseal on the side and ran this pipe through. And this pipe actually is connected to this, which this is used for maintenance. And this goes down, um, and it's just, it's got a, I, I created like kind of a shelf in there out of PVC pipes that has a bunch of holes in it. And what it'll do is whenever I go to do maintenance on this filter, this put in a blower, just, uh, you know, like a shop vac or whatever, just hook it up to this, and then just turn it on and it will actually blow air up through the bottom. And so I've got that piped in together with this, figured I might as well just utilize what I already had so it worked out really good there's a there's kind of a small shelf there to give a little open space down here for the solids to collect and then I've used some large pond gravel like the big big rocks and then um, that goes up to about here and then I put some river rocks which are slightly smaller and then I put some uh, pull filter sand up here about 50 pounds of each a little bit more about 75 of the pull filter sand because it doesn't take up as much space um, and then on the very top I put this is actually just crushed oyster shell same concept as uh, aragonite or um, crushed coral same idea just um, the water here is extremely soft so I just put a little bit in to help kind of buffer the water and it seems to be working really good so that's that um, some people will probably be like, oh, well, you know, don't, doesn't the small particles in the sand and the smaller things sink down into the bottom, you know, where the, ro the bigger rocks are at? Because, like, in an aquarium, that's what usually what happens. Like, the silt and stuff and the small pieces will get down on the bottom and push the bigger pieces up. In this system, it doesn't do that just because everything is compacted fairly well, so it doesn't have a whole lot of room to move around to do that. Um... I mean, the ones I've seen that have been running a few years do have a little bit of 
mixing, but it's not enough to really worry about it. So I'm not worried about it. So that's that. That's the filter. And um, as you can see here, this is this right here, this right here. This was actually my maintenance port. Um, I, I was going to put a pipe out of this and with a cap on it. And then anytime I wanted to do the overflow thing by blowing air into it and pumping out all the waste, is going to come out this way, but I think instead I'm actually just going to put a T into this and then just put a, um, a valve on it. Make it a little bit easier, but if you can see there on these, I actually attempted to cut these holes out by hand, just like drawing it free form and then cutting circles. I strongly suggest just pay the $15 and get a proper you know, hole saw for whatever size pipe that you're doing. These two inch pipes actually use a three inch hole saw. So it worked out a lot better when I did it that way. Uh, all the ones that I cut, even the ones that I cut fairly well, like fairly circular, like this one is fairly good. That one is fairly good. I put pipes in them and they, all of them leaked. So they all dripped and leaked. So not ever doing that again. Um, so I've got the pickups right here and I put these on there because these are both not exactly the same height. So what I can do with this is just to adjust the amount coming out. Um, Alright, to, uh, to adjust the amount coming out, all I gotta do is just raise and lower these a little bit. Like, so, it just these overflow into each one of these and then um, I just use this to kind of make it to where it would direct the flow a little bit and then on this side there's overflows also as you can see there's a pipe that goes down I did that to where it will suck stuff up near the bottom rather than just sucking stuff off the top keeps from sucking all the floating plants in I probably will put a sponge or something over it anyway if, once I put fish in here because I don't want them to get sucked up and moved all around I drilled a hole into each one of these